welcome back for another tips and tricks video brought to you by Absident and Acer. In today's video, we are going to take a look at three tricks that can help save you time and prevent headaches when you are using forms for any of its multitude of uses. This is a super simple trick and it can work for a number of different Google tools as well, including Google Docs and Google Slides. And that is going to your search bar and typing in forms.new. That's it, forms.new. And this creates a brand new form for you and automatically puts it straight into your drive. You can reorganize it from there if you choose, but you now have a new form to work with ready to go. If you are anything like me, at some point you have put together a form, you've shared it out with your students, with your parents, with your fellow teachers, only to get results back and have no idea whose result goes with who. There is something you can do to prevent this from happening, and that is by changing your automatic preferences. So in any Google form, go to your three dots in the top right corner. Go down to preferences and make a change. Tick that collect email addresses button. Now any new form you make will automatically collect email addresses. While you're in your preferences, you can also change some defaults for your questions. You can make it so every question is automatically required. That saves you clicking that purple toggle at the bottom of every question. You can also change it so that in a quiz, every question has a default point value of one or two or however you want to rate your quizzes. So if you make this change here, this will make it so you are automatically for any new quiz question it has a value of one instead of zero, saving you just that little bit of time from having to change it every single time you create a new question. Then go ahead and click save. If I go and create a new form, once again using my handy forms.new trick, and you come into your settings, you'll see, once again, it's automatically collecting those email addresses. It's there for me, and I don't have to worry about it. I will never again lose track of who answered which questions. And then my third trick is one that helps me save just a little bit of time when I am creating quizzes. And this is using the duplicate function. I know, duplicating a question seems easy, but here's the trick. If you've created your question, if you go into the answer key, you mark, I always do the first one, but anyone you want to as being the correct option, you click done, then you come to the three dots in the bottom right corner of the quiz question, and you click shuffle option order. This means that every single person who takes this quiz will see these multiple choice options in a different order. So then here's what I do. I duplicate my quiz question, I change the question, and I change my answer responses so that the correct answer is in the same place as where I already have that green check mark. And this is where the time saving comes in. I already have my correct answer chosen. I don't need to go into the answer key. I don't need to choose which one's correct but it's also going to randomize the order for my students so they're not always seeing the correct answer first. Because I duplicated the question, it also duplicated the preferences of shuffling the option order. So I can do this over and over and over again for my quiz questions, and I don't have to go into the answer key anymore. I just type the answers so that the correct one is always in that same spot and Google Forms does the rest of the work for me. I hope these tricks are helpful to you as you are working through and creating with Forms and give it a like, subscribe, share with your friends. We'll be back later for more tricks.